I will now request Maghdoom Shah Mahmood Qureshi, Minister for Foreign Affairs, to please move the resolution. Mr. Chairman, before I move uh, the resolution, I would like to thank and acknowledge all parliamentarians and the entire parliamentary leadership for bringing this unanimous resolution on Kashmir, especially the leader of the House in the Senate, leader of the opposition uh, in the Senate, and Senator Mushayat Hussain Sayyid. Mr. Chairman, upon completion of 365 days since India's illegal and unilateral actions of 5th August 2019 and its continued human rights violations in Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir, the Senate of Pakistan reiterates its complete rejection of India's illegal and unilateral actions since 5th of August 2019, aimed at perpetuating its inhuman occupation of Jammu and Kashmir, emphasizes that these illegal Indian actions are a blatant violation of the relevant UN, National, uh, UN uh, United Nations Security Council resolutions, bilateral agreements and the precepts of international law, denounces the BJP government for taking advantage of the world's preoccupation with the COVID-19 pandemic to introduce new domicile rules in Indian-occupied Jammu and Kashmir in the attempt uh, to illegally change the demographic structure of the region to advance its Hindutva agenda declares that the illegal steps to turn Muslims into a minority in the only Muslim majority area in India are in clear violation of the UN Security Council resolutions, bilateral agreements and international law, including the Fourth Geneva Convention. Strongly condemns extrajudicial killings of Kashmiri youth in fake encounters and cordon and surge operation by the Indian occupation forces as well as arbitrary arrests and detentions of senior Kashmiri leaders and activists. Further condemns the refusal by the Indian occupation forces to hand over mortal remains of the Shohada to their families for proper burial. Also condemn burning and looting of Kashmiri houses to inflict collective punishment on the communities and neighborhoods. Deplores the Indian occupation forces have particularly or completely, partially or completely blinded more than 11,000 Kashmiri civilians, including women and children, through the deliberate use of pellet guns, shots, with which represent a grave violation of international law and fundamental human rights, denounces the fact that to divert attention from grave human rights violations uh, in Indian-occupied Jammu and Kashmir, the Indian occupation forces along the line of control and the working boundary have been continuously targeting civilian populated areas with artillery fire, heavy caliber mortars and automatic weapons committing more than 1,800 ceasefire violations this year alone, resulting in 14 shahadats and serious injuries to 139 innocent civilians. Appreciates strong statements of support on the Jammu and Kashmir dispute from world leaders reaffirming the disputed nature of Jammu and Kashmir, as well as the international community in particular, the United Nations' responsibility in seeking a resolution of the Jammu and Kashmir dispute in accordance with the relevant UN Security Council resolutions. Commends the three discussions on the Jammu and Kashmir dispute in the UN Security Council after a gap of more than 55 years 
the two reports on the issue by the Office of the High Commissioner for Human Rights, the consistent support demonstrated by OIC and its human rights body, and the convening of three meetings of the OIC contact group on Kashmir, applauds several world parliaments, international human rights organizations, as well as the international media who have been vocal in their condemnation of the ongoing military siege, communications blockade, and other restrictions by the Indian occupation forces in the illegally Indian-occupied Jammu and Kashmir. Appreciates the visits to Pakistan and Azad Kashmir by the United Kingdom's all-party parliamentary Kashmir group and the OIC Secretary General's uh, special envoy on Kashmir. Stresses that the BJP leaders threatening statements and belligerent rhetoric as well as irresponsible and aggressive Indian actions pose a grave threat to peace, security and stability in South Asia. Sensitizes the world community again about the possibility of false flag operation by India and any ill-considered misadventure. Reaffirms the firm resolve of the people and the armed forces of Pakistan to thwart any act of aggression resolutely and effectively. Underscores that the RSS BJP dispensation in India is driven by the toxic mix of ideology, which is Hindutva, and hegemonic designs, which is Akhand Bharat, which pose a serious threat in Tralia to the Kashmiri people under Indian occupation, to the minorities in India, and to regional peace and stability. Underscores that Jammu and Kashmir is an internationally recognized dispute and longest outstanding item on the agenda of the UN Security Council and categorically states that illegal steps do not and cannot alter its disputed status. Reaffirms and applauds the inalienable right to self-determination of the people of Jammu and Kashmir as enshrined in the relevant UN Security Council resolutions and protected by international law. Reaffirms previous resolutions of the National Assembly and the Senate expressing unflinching, unwavering and unstinting solidarity and commitment of the people of Pakistan with the people of illegally Indian occupied Jammu and Kashmir. Pursuant to the above, this House, which is the Senate of Pakistan, demands the Indian government to rescind its illegal unilateral actions of 5th August 2019, immediately lift its in, in inhuman military siege of the illegally Indian occupied Jammu and Kashmir, stop its illegal measures to change the demographic structure of the occupied territory. Stop extrajudicial killings of Kashmiri youth in fake encounters and cordon and search operations. Release the illegally detained Kashmiri youth and political leadership. Remove restrictions on media, internet and mobile communications, movement and peaceful assembly. Provide access in India, uh, in the Indian occupied Jammu and Kashmir, to human rights and humanitarian organizations, independent observers, and the media. Repeal its draconian laws, including Armed Forces Special Powers Act, Public Safety Act, and Unlawful Activities Prevention, uh, Prevention Act. Withdraw over 900,000 occupation troops for the Indian occupied Jammu and Kashmir and give Kashmiris their Ill, uh, inalienable right to self-determination. Calls upon the international community to use all tools at its disposal to hold India accountable for its illegal and unilateral actions 
and human rights violations against the Kashmiri people pressurize India to adhere to its international human rights obligations and allow international media, humanitarian organizations and independent observers entry into Indian occupied Jammu and Kashmir to independently verify reports of abuse, violation and use of excessive force urges the UN Human Rights Council to constitute a commission of inquiry to investigate gross and consistent consistent human rights violations in the Indian occupied Jammu and Kashmir being committed by the Indian occupation forces with impunity under the cover of two draconian laws as mentioned above as recommended by the two reports of the UN High Commissioner for Human Rights reiterates that Pakistan will continue providing all possible support to the Kashmiri people until they achieve their legitimate right to self-determination through a free and impartial plebiscite under the auspices of the United Nations as recognized by the relevant UN Security Council resolutions. Thank you, Mr. Minister. I now put the resolution before the House. Those who are in favor of the resolution may say aye. aye. Those against the resolution may say no. I think the eyes of it, the eyes of it, the resolution is passed unanimously. Uh, special thanks to Ambassador of European Union. She is also here to witness the today's special session.